This is the gas and electrical system. The first thing that we need to do is to switch on the electrical system. To switch on the electrical system, we push this button and the green light goes on. The electrical system must be used to operate the gas system. Now I need to switch on the gas system. To switch on the gas system, I press this button here and you can see this valve is opening. There is also a manual valve that needs to be opened to switch on the gas. So I'm going to open that valve and now when we go and test the gas, to lift up and turn, now the gas is coming out. I'm just going to test the alarm. You don't have to do this every time, but it's just good to see what happens when the alarm goes off. So now I've got some gas inside there. Here is the gas alarm. If I pour that gas, the alarm goes off and the valve shuts automatically. I now have to wait for this alarm to stop before I can switch the gas back on. It may take a little bit of time. Okay. If there is an emergency in the lab and we want to switch off the gas, let me just switch it on again. But if we want to switch off the gas in an emergency, this is the button that we use to switch off the gas. This is the button that we use to switch off the electricity. But don't switch off the electricity before switching off the gas, because this valve needs the electricity to open and close. So, in an emergency for gas, switch off, and it will close the valve, and no more gas will be delivered to the gas system. I'm also now going to close this because we're not going to be using the gas today and I'm going to switch off the electricity because we're about to leave the lab.